Hello everyone, my name is Desiree. I am the owner of Leela Suds LLC based out of New York City. Leela Suds is a self-care company focusing on artisan soaps, bath bombs, bath salt, everything you need to curate your most elevated ritual of taking care of yourself, which is so important. Um, and also a huge part of the brand is using uh, sustainable and ethically sourced ingredients as well as eco-friendly packaging. So a lot of the branding behind Leela Suds um, is inspired by the modern romantic and this definitely has a huge role in the type I use for all the graphics, the colors, the inspirations behind all the products and soaps that I do. Um, a huge part of it as well is telling my story as a Latina born and raised in Puerto Rico and how do I convey those stories through a bar of soap. So a lot of it, you know, falls in the names and the inspiration and that really does connect with the customers because when they use the products, they really feel like they're holding something special to treat themselves with and take care of themselves. So that's a huge role. Um, and also Lila is not obviously not my name. It's actually based from my mother's name, but also Lila in Spanish means lilac or purple, soft purple. So that's kind of perfect because, you know, when you think about purple and the meaning behind it, it's like royalty, but lilac is kind of like more of a softer color palette and it kind of plays into that modern romantic vibe. So that's kind of where it comes from. And yeah, that's the gist of Leela Suds LLC. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elisabetta and I am the artist behind Mesh and Cloth. With Mesh and Cloth, I create ceramic pieces by hand and I also offer kits, courses, workshops that teach people how to start working with clay and get creative at home. So my brand identity has definitely evolved and will keep evolving as my brand changes. But one of the most important things for me is that I really want people to connect with me as a person. So I want them to know that this is a one person business. It's run by me and I do everything myself. I pack, I do everything myself. So I want them to feel connected to me. I know my story and understand why I'm working with clay, what inspires me. And I also want them to feel really welcome and happy when they open one of my products, which is why in the packaging especially, I pay attention to the color scheme that is very earthy, neutral and happy and corresponds to the colors that I love and I'm mostly drawn to. So that's my brand identity story. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Vicky and I'm a Kiwi living in Hong Kong. In the last year, I launched a collection of limited edition silk scarves and the brand Mr. Plum. And Mr. Plum as an identity has evolved over the last couple of years. Um, he's a virtual persona. He can be described as the Willy Wonka of the textile world. So kooky, quirky, quite mysterious from the old world. Um, one thing I have while developing the brand, I did have the luxury of time on my side. So as a, my day job is a graphic and experience designer, so I specialize in brand development and storytelling. And normally you've got a, you know, a deadline looming over your head or it's a four week sprint. But with this, I was really able to take my time and really craft Mr. Plum into someone that reflects me, my, my background, my heritage, who I am. And so all of um, his hobbies and interests, they all actually reflect uh, my family. So I really wanted to make him personable, I wanted to make him real and authentic. Um, but someone with just enough mysteriousness to them to keep him interesting and a little bit aloof, I think. Um, but yeah, so I really, um, I really also, I wanted him to be someone like something to evolve as well. So there's still room for movement wherever I, my business goes or how my products develop further. There's room for him to grow as well, which I think is really important. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I founded Signorelli Bakery with my husband about six years ago. We've been asked to share our story on how we developed our brand identity. Um, my husband was inspired to open an artisan Italian bakery in London 
by his yearning for his pastichurias back home in Italy. As a starting point, we took the historical parts of his local pasticceria uh, back home near Genova in um, northeastern Italy, and we looked at back in time how logos were drafted, and we were really inspired by the sort of 20s logos. Um, Signorelli was a name that had been in the family for years and we felt was really adapted um, to what we were trying to achieve and really gave us that heritage feel that we were trying to bring forward. Fast forward six years after one hell of a roller coaster, we now try and not overbrand what we do. Um, we feel like our brand is strong, but we try and do it through subtle touches, through, for example, our no-issue paper that we put under our cakes on the counter, we put it under our cakes that we do for birthdays and celebrations and we are slowly sort of bringing branding into our cups uh, but it always has to be subtle it's not an in your face and it's about bringing the color and touch of signorelli that really enhances our products our, our products need to be at the forefront of what we do we don't want to be more sort of um, branding than substance and that's how we've sort of come to where we've come to and um, we, we really enjoyed the journey it's been really tough, but we really feel like after six years, we've sort of found our identity and our place in the market, and we're proud to sort of shout about our, our brand now. I am Blair Dorn, owner and founder of Bottega Bene. We're a deli located in Atlanta, Georgia, and we specialize in antipasti spreads. I had the idea to start Bottega Bene during COVID-19 quarantine. I was stuck at home and using antipasti spreads as a way to make Friday feel more like Friday and less like Tuesday. I had also just learned that I'm an eligible dual citizen in Italy through my grandmother's lineage. When creating the brand identity for Bottega Bene, I knew that I wanted it to feel familiar, but also unique. I knew that I wanted it to represent quality without being too fussy or precious. We actually used my grandmother's handwriting when creating our logo. It's really special to me and I love sharing that with my customers.